It was a brazen attack on two U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania. Powerful truck bombs detonating minutes apart, killing 224 people. Susan Hirsch was a professor working in Tanzania and planning a move back home with her husband, Jamal Abdallah. It would have been my husband's first trip to the U.S. and we were in the process of buying gifts for people. They stopped by the embassy in Dar es Salaam to cash a check. Her husband decided to wait outside to have a cigarette. A huge noise, and then um, I was knocked to the floor. I have strong memories of a lot of dust and glass on the floor. Jamal died instantly. Before September 11th, the embassy bombings 12 years ago were Al-Qaeda's deadliest assault on Americans. Now, Ahmed Galani, who allegedly bought the truck used in the Tanzania attack and some of the TNT, will stand trial before a jury in a U.S. courtroom. He was a important facilitator in the attack. In 2001, Paul Butler prosecuted four other men convicted for the embassy bombings and now serving life sentences. At the time, Galani was one of several fugitives in the case. He was captured in Pakistan in 2004 and later held at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. He is the first high-value Guantanamo detainee brought to the U.S. for a civilian trial. The Obama administration points to his trial as proof that top al-Qaeda suspects, like alleged 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, can be brought to justice in federal court. But going forward, this former prosecutor disagrees. In 1998, when these attacks occurred, the enemy was at war with us, but we just didn't realize it. And we didn't have the tools and the authorities to go after them using uh, military means. All that changed after 9-11. For Butler, who went on to work at the Pentagon, winning convictions should take a back seat to stopping future attacks. Just because we can try them in a federal court, we should ask ourselves, should we? Is that the right method to further the actual goal of gathering the intelligence that's necessary to disrupt clandestine cells? But for Susan Hirsch, Galani's trial for the attack that killed her husband has enormous symbolic value. The trial is a way of coming back and saying, we can rely on rule of law. How it plays out could affect whether more trials like it occur. Jan Crawford, CBS News, Washington.